with one out in the top of the seventh, the Reds have mounted a threat here on the sticky Miami Heat. Runners are in the corners with the Marlins up by two. We interrupt this program with a special news bulletin. The Palm Beach Sheriff's Department report the escape of a patient from Chattahoochee Mental Institution. He is described as a male Caucasian, approximately six foot two inches tall and 190 pounds, and may be dangerous. If you see anyone fitting this description, please contact either your Palm Beach County or Martin County Sheriff's Office. Bye, Mom. Hey, Tino. Hey, Malcolm, what's up? Just the sun. Uh-huh. Hey, guys. Hey, hey Pina. Pina, what's up? Hey, where's Bama? Oh. You were on to get his glove. You stay here and take care of Papa Charlie. Yes, ma'am. Don't let me down now. Yes. What do you think you're doing? Sir? Get your ball glove and get out of here. But Mama said to get... I me don't care what Mama said. If you don't practice... You ain't never gonna be no Jackie Robinson. Not again. Yes, sir, Papa Charlie. Get! Hey, son, if your team needs any help, I can probably sneak away. Two things, Dad. We have the situation well in hand. That's good. Hey, have fun, all right? Okay. Sweetheart, you want me to make you some breakfast? No, thanks, Mom. You've been waiting on people all day. Duke Snyder. Oh, that's so easy. Duke Snyder, center fielder for the Brooklyn Dodgers, 1947 to 57. But his best year was 1954. 40 home runs and 130 RBIs and hit a measly 341. So you going to be home for dinner tonight? Oh, I don't know, honey. Boy, you got a date with Mr. Garrett? Isn't today the deadline for you guys to get a baseball coach? Yeah. Well, I gotta go. Well, did you get one? Yeah. You really like him, man. He's a really good guy. Why don't you get to know him? Let's go, guys. Mr. Bates! Mr. Bates, come on out here. We need you. He's probably still in bed. Ah, uh, he's not in bed. I say we go in there and drag him out. Hey, that would be breaking and entering. So, so that's illegal. Look, we paid this guy money to coach our team, and he won't even come out of his house. What do you call that? I call it rude. I'm not talking to you, dude. Look, we don't have a coach on the field in one hour and a half. We don't have a team. I don't know about the rest of you, but I'm not going to waste another summer without playing baseball. Yeah. yeah. Mr. Bates! Get the hell off of my property! Excuse me, Mr. Bates. Does that mean you don't want to be our coach? I told you what! Get the hell out of here! But we had a deal! I told you get out of my bed. Just a bit outside. Malcolm, just what league did you say this guy used to play in? The Wednesday Night Bowling League. What? Mr. Bates, if you're not going to coach us, at least give us our money back. Have you got a contract? We don't need a written contract because we have a verbal contract. 
Who the hell are you, Perry? Who the hell are you? Yeah, mud Yeah! Come on, let him go! Come on! Let's get out of here! Just once. I like to play on the field where the bases aren't tin cans and the mound isn't a stack of old newspapers. Yeah, well, I guess we'll go back to playing on that lovely field next to the sewer. Look, guys, we tried. It's over. No, it's not. There has to be a way. Hooksy, can't your dad coach us? Uh, I don't know. He's just so busy in court. Hooksy, your dad's not a lawyer. Yeah, Boat Hey, Your dad's not a lawyer. He's, you see, as a matter of fact, okay, today he's Okay, okay, okay. Bambo, what about your pop? Me coach? <laughs> Why don't we pool our money and see if we can rent a coach? Rent a coach? Sure. The hell, we almost had a drunken bowl, and what's the difference? But well, come on, let's see how much we got. 38 cents and three golf balls. With that, we couldn't even rent a dead guy. River, you could have one too. I guess we're not going to play. Hey, Bo, where are you going? I'm going to play baseball. There's an empty field. Where'd you guys get those uniforms, Neiman Marcus? Nobody's <laughs> talking to you, Bama. You know, Albert, you're so ugly. When you were born, the doctor slapped your mother. <laughs> Where did he go? Where did who go? The man. Maybe he's some kind of like, what'd you say, ghost? He's not a ghost. I've seen him before. Where? came from left field. Boys! Where's your coach? See, I told you now we're in for it. Uh, right, look, I told you 11 o'clock's the deadline. Remember, if you don't have a coach and you can't play in the league. Uh, he's in the dugout. Yeah, in the dugout. I'd like to have no, a no, 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 no. Now's not a good time. See, uh, he's really sick. Yeah. Well, I'll just give him some mask. No, 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 hey, buddy. Kids say you got a headache, is that true? Buddy! Uh, sorry. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, the Indian Town Indians are on the schedule. Uh, what? Good luck, fellas, huh? I hope you feel better. It's real! Yeah! Yeah! Bo, I'm telling you, he's a drifter. But just what if he knows Bo. he can't? But just what if? Bo, he 
He's not a messenger from God. Why not? Because if God wanted to help the team, he would have sent a Sparky Anderson. Slap your shoes off, Mr. Frenzy. We're wiping off now, Nancy Lee. Oh, hi, Bama. Hello. Mmm. Smells wonderful, Nancy Lee. Thanks. Thanks. Can I try the gravy? Or do I need surgical gloves? Let's see. These hands are so clean you can see yourself in them. Go wash. You should work at a hospital. Yeah, I know. Hmm. Even though I'm not invited for dinner, I think I'll go wash my hands, too. Ooh, you're such a bad actor. Get out I'll of here. I'll be in the bathroom. Okay. Listen, Mom, you think Bama could sleep over tonight? Ah, so it's Mom now. And what happened to advance notice? We had a deal. Well, I'm asking now. And what if I say no? Then Bama goes home. Okay? Hey, Bama, I have a wonderful idea. Won't you eat supper with us tonight and sleep over? <laughs> Sounds great, Nancy Lee. Okay. Hello? Hold on. It's for you. Thanks. Hello. No. Yeah, your clock's fine. No, he has a friend sleeping over. Okay, bye. So, you going out with Garrett tonight? I beg your pardon? Sorry. Mr. Garrett. Yeah, I am. Give me those pot holders, would you? Thanks. So how's the team coming along this summer? Great. Great. Excuse me. We have a very interesting coach. <laughs> well, really, who is it? Uh, I don't think you'd know him. Right, Emma? No. I would seriously doubt it. All right, who were the two Boston outfielders who set a new record for a seven-game series by accepting a 24? I know it. Come in. Hey, boys, I'm out of here. Wow. What? You look really pretty, Nancy Lee. Well, thanks, Mama. Yeah, Mom, you look beautiful. Thanks, darling. Y'all are trying to negotiate a later bedtime hour. I gotta tell you, it's working. 10.30, okay? Love you. Love you, too. All right. Good. Look, the jerk came in. Get out of the car and open her door. It's a shame. The guy finally falls in love with someone and he can't marry himself. God bless Mom and Papa Charlie. Amen. Oh, well, you got some new cards. Where'd you get these? Old man Sora gave them to me from Mona's lawn. Give me a whole box of them. You know, those are pretty old. They could be worth a lot. All right, Ernie Lombardi. 38 reds, batted 342. You know, we're never going to see that guy again. He'll be there. Just where you left him. And he'll be our coach. You're beginning to sound like Malcolm. Next, you're going to tell me there's a tooth fairy and he bats clean up for the Royals. No, I just got a gut feeling. So do I. I ate too many of these damn jelly beans. Excuse me.
You're still here. I told you you'd still be here. Look, you're still here. Yeah, of course. It's from God, right? All right, look, you stay here and watch him. I'll go get the guys, okay? Watch him? Hey. Good morning, sir. How you doing? P pretty hot, isn't it? Do you want anything to drink? See? There he is. Just like I said. So what's the big deal? He hasn't moved since last night. Well, that's right. Don't you see? He's still here. In the dugout. This dugout. Our dugout. Think about how many dugouts there are on the planet. Including or excluding China. Ouch! That was a perfectly intelligent question. About a million. He could have wandered into any dugout, but he chose this one. I don't know where he came from. I don't know why. Somewhere, somehow, he was sent to be our coach. I, I think he's looking at me. Uh, mister, I, I think you make a great coach. You better be right. Here comes O'Connor. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning, sir. Ah, uh, here's your assigned practice times and field assignments. Uh, by the way, coach, uh, I never caught your name. Jackie Robinson. J Jackie Robinson? Yes, sir. Uh, Jack. Jack Robinson. Uh, well, uh, good luck. Jack? Yep. A perfect marriage. Hey, a bow. Uh... Are you sure about this guy being our coach? Look at him. Well, yeah. Look how our luck has changed since we found him. Yeah, but where are we going to put him? We can't afford to run a room in the Seminole Inn. We'll hide him in the Weinstock stables. In the loft. No one will ever find him there. How do you know? I worked there a couple summers. No one ever went up there. Yeah. That's all well and good, but I think we're overlooking one crucial fact. Can Jackie coach? Hey, Bo, we're a little short today. How about a game of over the line? That's the Homestead Hawks. They're the worst team in the league. Kill them. <laughs> all right, you got a game. What about first? You guys can be the home team. All right, Bama, you play second, and I'll pitch. Okay, well, give me a blazer. All right, let's play ball. I don't want to be the catcher anymore, Bo. You told me this wouldn't hurt, but it did hurt. Fine. Uh, Tino, come in here and play first. Big head, you can catch.
One, two, three. Straight, straight. Yes, sir. head again? No. This guy takes longer to warm up than Reggie Jackson. <laughs> All right. Now once he gets in the batter's box, he goes through all of his twitches and gyrations. Once he's set, you take a long, long wind up, you throw him high and outside. Then, you quick pitch him. Three straight strikes. I think this guy's terrific. Yeah. Yeah. for his mother to leave before he could smuggle out the liver. Here you go, coach. I hope you like it. Oh, thanks a lot. Um, what is it? Hurry, we gotta... Uh, good night, coach. Yeah, well, what is it? Do you really think God has something to do with this guy being here? 
You ever seen him before? No. Well, can you explain how he just showed up out of nowhere? It happens to be the best coach in Sparky Anderson. Yeah. Well, Lord works in mysterious ways. Sure does. JC, head up. Head up. Hands in front. Hands in front. And. Not yet, Tino. And four. All right, all right. Keep it going, Ben. How long do you think Coach is going to make Big Head run? <coughs> if it's until he moves like Johnny Bench, probably about 20 years. Indian, I was just wondering, from a legal point of view, do you find it offensive that the Cleveland Indians go by that name? Could be worse. Could be the Miami Indians. What a great day. What are we gonna do to celebrate? Wait, I got an idea. Holy cow! I've never seen anything like her. Yeah, and I doubt you ever will. I told you guys last week, we can't get in without an adult. Hi. Hi. Hi, Coach. Hey, Coach. Hey, Coach. Uh, ten children. And, uh, one adult. <laughs> Will you bring me my clothes? I want to get up and have a look around. What for? Well, I can't spend the rest of my life in bed. No, no, you better not get up till tomorrow. You said that yesterday. But you're not strong enough yet. Who says I'm not? Billy, you must, and you'll hurt yourself. Then why don't you quit wrestling with me? But you've been so sick. You're not well enough. You're not... How did practice go? I'm telling you, this Jackie Robinson is one heck of a coach. You should have seen me today. I was a human vacuum cleaner. Hmm. Hand me that picture of your father. I never seen a good coach without a whistle. You gonna be okay, Papa Charlie? Yeah. I want you to know how proud I am. JC, you know you have your daddy's blood running through your veins. It ain't gonna be long before God will be calling me home. And then you'll be the man around here. It'll be left up to you to take care of your mama. But, Papa Charlie, you're not going anywhere. I'm tired, son. It's time for Papa Charlie to have a little vacation time, too. You're not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. Son, I'm going somewhere real special. When I get there, Kiss your daddy and your grandmother and give them a big hug for you. Bedtime, you two. Hey, good morning, Mr. Hookstratton. What are you doing here? 
Uh, hello to you too. Uh, how come you're not working? I was on my way to the Granvilles. Thought I'd stop by. But since you're getting back. What is this? Can't a father watch his son practice? Sure. It's just that. Oh, uh, it's just that I. Uh, oh, what's the C? It's a bunch of ground balls. Yeah. Well. I better get going. Dad. I love you. <clears throat> Don't be late, okay? Can I take some founders at short? No, actually, you go to right field. Ah. No, what you guys talking about? Ideas. Well, we were just thinking about, about getting Jack a job. Got any ideas? Well, what kind of job? One that pays. Can't take care of him forever. <laughs> you know, we could try the unemployment office. The personnel manager will see you now. Uh, you boys will have to wait out here. No! No! no please! Please! No, please. Oh, guys, 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 it's okay. I think you'll do pretty good. Uh, <coughs> Jack. Mm. No gay coach should be without a whistle. Uh oh, thank you. <laughs> Remember, Jack. See if there's an opening at the arcade, okay? Okay. And then the afternoons and weekends off, okay? Yeah. Nice. Sound medical and dental plan that covers all accidents, but if you don't have one, you can get it. So, you're <clears throat> looking for work? Yes, sir. I need some money. Don't we all? <laughs> uh, I see on the background that uh, you left it blank. No, I, I don't remember a lot. Well, I don't blame you. I've done lots of things in my life that I'm just very sorry for. <laughs> uh, you ain't that crazy fella police are looking for, are you? you this, but uh, have you served any time? Time? Time, I... Well, don't worry about it. I have to disclose it, but we find lots of work for people like you. Now, I see under skills, you put down summer league coach? Yes, sir. <clears throat> I'm, the, uh, I'm the new coach for the Indian town baseball team. Helping the kids. Yes, That's great. I hope you kill those spoiled kids from Silver Beach. Okay. Unfortunately, it don't pay. Right. You have any other skills? I don't know. Well, let's see what we have available. I have, um, oh, uh, gardening opening at the nursing. I'm sorry, sir. I, I don't know anything about gardening. Jackie, let me ask you a question. Yes, sir. Are you good with your hands? I'm good with my hands. Is this all they could find it? It's good, clean, hard work. Maybe it'll keep him in good shape. Yeah. He's looking buffed. Yeah, buffed. Well, 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 if it isn't the Indians, what's the matter? Pitching machine too tough for you? Yeah, maybe soon the coach will be thrown over here. <laughs> hey, Peanut! Nice, sweet! My sister can hit better than that! 
Hey, hey, hey. Come on, guys. That's enough. I'm sorry, Coach. I'm Phil Corey, coach at Silver Beach. Jack. Welcome to the league, Jack. You know, I, I got some good news, and I got some bad news for you. Good news is you get to play us in the first game. <laughs> the bad news is we won the state championship last year. <laughs> yeah, too bad you have to start your season off with a loss. Well, you never know, son. Life is full of surprises. Dad, why don't you rip a few? Show them how it's done. No, no, son, they're in the, they're in the middle of practice. I don't want to do that. Come on, Jack. Come on. Son, I can't do that. Come on, coach. Thanks, Jack. I'll give it a try. Uh, take it up to intermediate. You ever play college ball, coach? Yeah, the truth has been so long ago, I can't remember. Nice. Hey, hey, coach. Dad. How about you? Oh, um, four years at Notre Dame. We won ah, about everything. Nice swing. Thanks. Oh, well, that's enough for me. Um, why don't you give it a try? Go ahead, it's not that hard. Come on, Come on, Come on, Come on. Knock it off the high! What the hell? Give it a try. Really, isn't that tough? Coach, you don't have to prove anything, okay? Go, Coach. Now give it a try. That is so good. Come on, Coach. Are you good? Are you good, one? Get it out of here. Come on, Coach. like you calling here when you're like this. Mister, don't be so respectful. Okay, it's that snot-faced, slimy pig. <laughs> <laughs> That's better. <laughs> Mom, I'll run him over with the car. When I get my learner's permit. Better not. We don't have collision insurance. <laughs> Mom, he's a loser. Oh, I know it. Maybe it's me. Nancy Lee, you're a catch. You're beautiful. You're smart. And you throw a mean curveball. Oh, of course. Yeah. I know you better than you do. I know you from the inside out. 
Thanks, honey. You know, I don't mean to question the good Lord. He's been very good to us. Well, sometimes. But you know, my time of being a good catch is running out. Mom, your prince is just around the corner. You think so? I know so. Thanks, I needed that. <laughs> That's her. She's beautiful. I told you, she's a knockout. My nice smile. Flosses twice a day. already a legend in Indian town. They're gonna name a street after you. Yeah, but what makes you think she's gonna go out with me? You both like baseball. Mm. She's a woman. Yeah. You're a man. Yeah. Need I say more? You're gonna introduce us, aren't you? I told you I can't. She's gonna think I put you up to it. You did. Don't you know anything about women? I used... I'm, I'm sure I did, but I... I I think I forgot. Oh, come on, do you want me to do all the work? Just go and ask her out. Go. Yeah, but I... Go. Hey, make sure you don't tell her you know me. You ready to order? Want me to pick something out for you? Coffee. Okay. Regular or decaf? Um, you pick it. Okay. I like regular. Me too. Okay. Go. Best in town. Yeah. Thank you. Something wrong with the coffee? They're talking. Mm -hmm. She's smiling. He's smiling. <laughs> oh, Jack. You Romeo. See, I... I didn't have the courage to come in here and talk to you, but I wanted to. And the way I got the courage to come in here and talk to you was from... him. Jackie Trainer! Ah! I'm not talking to you. Why? You turned me in. She's gonna kill me. First she's gonna ground me, and then she's gonna kill me. Well, was that before or after our date? You got a date with her? Yeah. Yes! Oh, great. <laughs> that's great. I mean, you know, that's great because you two are going to go out on a date. Yeah, but it's especially great because now I'm not in trouble. I didn't say that. What do you mean? She's still gonna kill you. Just kidding.
Where'd you get this? Um, the, uh, two doors down is, uh, the guys, they're everywhere. They're going through the fence. So. Oh, that's Mr. Hook Stratton. He's a gardener. Huh, well, explains it. <laughs> I'll put it in water. Be right back. Say, Coach, you got enough money? Yeah, I think so. Okay, now remember, Harpoon Louis. Harpoon Try to get a table on the dock. On the dock? Right? Yeah, see, because you can see the lighthouse, and it's really romantic. Harpoon Louis in the dock, it's very romantic. Ready? Yeah. Hey, that voice. I love you. Love you, too. Love you. Be good. You mind driving? You do remember how to drive, don't you? Sure. You open her door. Of course. Coach is a gentleman. Where are we going? Um, Abu Louis? Oh, I love that place. I heard it was, uh, very romantic. Oh. Well, it was, uh, it was a great dinner. I'm... Glad I was right about the special. Do you always order for your dates? Um, I can't remember. You don't remember? No. You know, I'm glad we didn't go to Walker's Key tonight. Why? Because it's across the river. Geography. Not to folks around here. This may be a small town, but it's full of folks with simple, honest values. Walker's Key is full of people with old money, and that's all they're about. You know, as long as you use Walker Key as the scale for your life, it's always going to come out unbalanced. As long as I can remember, this town has been nothing but a, a big old scale of the haves and the have-nots. God is very tough on the poor. No, he's not. You just said it. What do you mean? You said you were one of the have-nots. Well, I didn't mean that I was the... Okay. I'm very blessed with the things I have. And thank you very much for pointing it out to me. If it's been so long in between dates that you can't remember, am I in trouble being out here with you tonight? Maybe. Oh, boy. <laughs> Me too. Okay, you go first. Okay. If you would have ordered the wine, I would have been dead. Your turn. When you smacked that ball through the canvas at the Gibbaton cage that day, you did that for me, didn't you? Maybe. Good evening, Nancy Lee. Hello, Bill. <laughs> I've been calling you. We need to talk. Well, now's not a good time. We need to talk. Let go. I don't think the lady wants to talk to you. <laughs> Who the hell is this? Jack. Well, butt out, Jack. Tell you what, Bill. Why don't you go back to Louie's and have some supper? I highly recommend the specials. They're real good. Didn't you think they were good? I loved it. Well, good night, Bill. Yeah. Why, you... That's enough. Jack. Jack. That's enough. It's been an interesting evening. 
You sure are full of surprises, Mr. Robinson. Not back there with Garrett. That look in your eyes. I've seen it before, but never that quickly. Well, you don't even have a fuse. Where's all that rage come from? I don't know. I swear to God. best you can do. That's fine with me. Good night. Come on, guys! Hustle up! Last lap! Get the lead out! Well, 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 what do we have here? Three little Indians? I hear you guys are going to be a real threat in the league this year. Ignore him. Oh, come on. Come on, Aaron. You were just minding your own business. Chill out, Mr. Gucci. I was just wondering, uh, Hook Nose, if you or I should talk to your dad. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, don't get me wrong. He's a great gardener. gardener. He does a good job on the lawn every Wednesday. But when he comes into our house, the smell of horsemen are so strong that we have to air out our house all day Thursday. Come here! Come here! Come here! Come here! Break it up! Break it up! Get your kids out of here. Go! You all right? What happened? It wasn't our fault, Coach. It wasn't our fault. I swear it wasn't our fault. It was the big guy, Albert. He started making fun of Hooksy's dad. You see, just because he's a gardener and then manure and then he stunk and, and Hooksy just got mad and he took off at him. Hooksy's an animal. It wasn't our fault, I swear, Coach. All right, stay here. Dad. I know. Bama told me. You know, you, you probably don't want to hear this right now, but let me give you a little advice. I, I know, I know, I know what you're going to say. Fighting never solves anything. No, I, I wasn't going to say that. What I was going to say was, if, if you can throw a left hook, you know, you don't drop your right hand because otherwise you're going to get tagged every time. You know what I love about the game of baseball? No matter if you win or you lose, no matter how many times you strike out or drop a fly ball, you still have your teammates. I mean, sure, you have to do things you don't want to do sometimes, like sacrifice a runner instead of swinging away. Play right field instead of first base. Make sacrifices. You have to make sacrifices if you're gonna have character. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, kind of lost me after the boxing tips. What I'm trying to say is, great players aren't aren't valued by how many home runs they hit or how many 
all-star games they play in. They're valued for their character. That's the most important thing. Not doing things for yourself. Doing things for the team. Same thing goes through off the field. Look, see, you don't judge a man by what he does for a living, how much money he makes. Judge him by his character, the love he had for his family, the sacrifices he makes for his family. A man who puts his family's needs in front of his own, whether he's a lawyer or a gardener, shot at this guy, you could have taken him. Yeah. The state Senate is expected to vote on this measure tomorrow. In other news, the Palm Beach County Police Department has apprehended the mental patient who escaped from the Chattahoochee Mental Institution. And now here's Bob with sports. Dad. Huh? Hold up, Dino. It's Rick Shad. Hi, hi. Tell me, Frank. Uh, Coach, is there still an opening for an assistant? I was a pretty good baseball player in high school, of course. Uh, that was a couple of years ago. Yeah, I, I know what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think we can work in. Yeah. Unfortunately, I can only give you a couple of afternoons. You see, Coach, my dad's a gardener, and he's pretty busy. 
Well, uh, what position did you play in high school? Uh, oh, outfield. Well, that's, uh, that's amazing. That's exactly what we're looking for. Um, Malcolm, Indian, and uh, Pete Hutt. You and Hooksy, you go out in the outfield and work with Coach Hookstratton. Okay, Coach. Thanks a lot. Let's hustle. Come on. Yeah, go, go. All right, let's go. Little chatter. Little... All right, guys, you're looking good. You're looking good. Some of you. Huh? Good job. Banner! You been dogging it all day, son! All right. Now I want to see you use your speed, come right through this bag. Don't move. Don't move. Easy, easy. Easy. Move your switch. Move it. It's not the cartilage. You see what? Coach. It's, it's not his legs. Not his legs. Coach! Nope. Take him! Let's go, guys! Let's lie here! Come on! Man, what's wrong? Listen. Come on, son, what's wrong? Man, I take your shirt off. No. Take your shirt off, son. No, sir. Who did this to you, son? I just... I fell off my bike and landed on some rocks. I did this to you, son. It's all right. Let it go. I hate him. I hate him. God, I hate him. Let it go. Let it go, sir. That's it. Let it go. It's all right. Block. Who wants to know? Jack. Can we talk? What about? Bama. What's he done now? Why don't we talk inside? You got something to say, say it. Otherwise, take a hike. You beat the hell out of your son. You a cop? No. Then get the hell out of here. No. Last chance. Do yourself a favor and turn around and walk out of here. So I don't have to hurt you. No. no. Ah! 
I warned you, old man! You're crazy. You're crazy, you know that? Maybe. You're very tough. Who the hell are you, anyway? I'm your son's new baseball coach. <laughs> <laughs> I've been round the world this morning I have sailed across the sky I have seen the seven wonders Each time I look into your eyes Cause in your eyes I see there's a magic In your eyes there is nothing I can't do and long as you believe in me, there's nothing in this world I'd rather do than be with you. So let's ride that magic carpet and take a trip to paradise. We can be there in a heartbeat. I look into your eyes. Did you see style? One, two, three. It's all right. Now, body into it. Come on.
Mm -hmm. What the hell are you doing? Brushing it back. Why? He's crowding the plate. Malcolm? Malcolm can't even see you. He's one of your teammates, son. Come on. I'm your coach. That's right. You're my coach. You're not my father. I'm not. I, I, I've been up at bat a lot more times than you have. When? All right. Five laps. That's practice. It's over. Wait a minute. Where? New York Giants, played 1942, batted 326. Roberto Clemente. Clemente. Pittsburgh Pirates, 1955 to 1972. His lifetime batter average was 317, but his best year was in 1966, where he batted 319 with 119 RBIs and was MVP in the National League. Damn good ball player. You know, you look great out there today, too. Thanks. How are things at home? It's like... It's like living with a 212-pound Easter bunny. Herb Square. Um, pitcher for the Cleveland Indians. Came from Lake Worth, Florida.
Coach! 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 JC's okay. I had the power. I had, I had the grip. Pop, here's a letter. Pop, here's a letter. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go to FSU. Pop, Pop, I'm going to FSU. And, my God. Oh my God. All American. All American, 19. NCA. Clear the year. Buttery hazard. Oh, you don't have to have a baby, honey. We can adopt. We can adopt, honey. Oh, I'm going to, I'm going to Kansas City, baby. I'm going to Kansas City. Oh, wait, you're a rookie of the year, darling. I'm rookie of the year. I can't believe I'm going to be captain of my rookie of the year. Yankee Stadium tomorrow. Whitey Ford, Whitey Ford, honey. Three for four, I'm a wedding for <laughs> Come on, Mudcat Blue, Mudcat Blue. That's his pitching baseball. Not gonna brush me back. Not gonna brush me back. Step into it. Step into it. Hey, hey, hey. I'm blind, I'm blind, honey. Scott, I'm blind. I'm blind. You're right. You're right. You're right, darling. I make good, I make good grades. I'll study. I'll be an old surgeon now. I'll be back in the game again. I, we're going to New York. We're going to New York and have Ronnie. We're going to New York. Took me out of the game to bring me back. We're making all kinds of money on you. You could have a baby. No, you're not too old to have a baby, honey. You're not too old to have a baby. You can, no, no. Give me something. Give me something for the pain. I'm going to lose my wife. I lost my wife. I got a daughter. I got a daughter. She's a great athlete. She's stubborn, just like me. No, don't, don't swim out there past that boy. Don't yes. go out behind that boy. Yes. I told you, don't. No. Come here. I, I got you, honey. Hold on, hold on. Yes. Don't let go. Oh, hold on, hold on. Oh, hold on. Okay, no. Nancy Lee. Nancy Lee, what? I don't know. Okay. I don't know how long. I just checked out. I don't know whether I've been gone nine or ten months or a year. I just checked out. I, I don't know where I belong anymore. I don't even remember how I got here. Go back, Jack. 
go back. Yes. You gotta go back. I can't. The kids, idiot. Gotta stay for the kids. Don't worry about the kids. The kids are better now than they've ever been thanks to you. Coach Hook Stratton can take care of the team. You gotta take care of yourself first. I love you, girl. I love you. Maybe he just left for a while. Yeah, but we're gonna win this game. We're gonna win it for him. It's been almost a year and you haven't missed a beat. That was your last appointment, Doctor. If you don't need me, I'll say good night. Good night, Jennifer. Great to have you back. Thank you. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. And thank you for joining us today. Okay, fellas, listen meeting. up now. Game Silver Beach and Coffee by Lana. Here we go. Peanut, you're leading off. Center field. Bowl, you're pitching. Silver Beach, Sail Bama.
This afternoon, leading off for the Indian Town Indians. Playing center field, Peanut Battaglia will be leading off. He'll be followed in the number two slot by pitcher Bo Prinzi. You got it? Yes, sir! Let's play ball! Better! Side. That's your favorite pitch, right? Yeah. And then he'll get out of here. Yeah! Look at that face. 